Welcome back, Star. Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I opt on to give an energy reading for the collective. Now, this will be for all signs. This may or may not resonate with you. This may apply to someone in your environment, a child, an ex, even the person that you're here for. All right, we're going to go ahead and see what comes out in this reading. I want to welcome all my incoming stars and welcome back all my previous and current shining bright stars i appreciate all the comments the likes the shares if you would like to donate all the information will be in the description box below we're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading if you haven't checked out the monthly readings for each individual signs go ahead and check those out they're very um extensive all right and they will resonate for some now in the past or possibly in the future, as well as this reading. All my readings are timeless, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and get into the reading and see what pops up. All right, Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. What do I need to know? Show me what it is I need to see. All right, so we have Sagittarius. I see in Saturn, I true. Some of you are messing with Sagittarius as a Capricorn. Or you have that strong in your chart. Even if you don't know, a link will be in the description box below for you to get your free bear child. So go, go ahead and check that out. Excuse me, because the Mercury retrograde. I believe this is the last day. However, it's going to linger for a while. All right. So those that don't know what's in their chart, all right. This could be talking about you moving forward, possibly on your own, on a spiritual journey for some, okay? And for others, this may be you completing a spiritual journey, okay? Because Capricorn is all about truth. Uh, I, meant to, I meant to say karma. It's all about truth indeed, but it's about time, okay? So some of you may have been on this path for a very long time. We're going to see what comes out in the reading as it unfolds things will make sense to you. Saturn is about structure, all right? So either someone is building themselves or they're thinking about bringing a stable offer to you or vice versa. Yeah, Sagittarius keeps coming out. So this is going to resonate with someone that has a lot of Sagittarius in their chart. Either you're dealing with a Sagittarius or you could possibly be single, okay? Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. Moon and the cars are sticking together. So something is either being hidden or some sort of subconscious work needs to be done. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. All right, so we have sun. Some of you, this is about uh, Leo. Others, this is about ego. It could possibly be about something coming to fruition. All right. Or uh, for some of you, this could be past events. All right. It could involve an Aquarius or just something coming explosively. Something could have happened all of a sudden. For some of you, this sudden activity humbled an individual. Possibly a cancer, or you're dealing with the cancer. This could also be about your intuition. You could have cancer in the ninth house. This is also the house that belongs to Sagittarius, is speaking about faith. And we have the 33. So for me, as a reader, this indicates a spiritual awakening. All right, this is the third eye, first eye. This is about the Jacob's ladder, the ascension of the Kundalini. Some of you may. Resonate with master teachers. You could be a master teacher. This is someone that is a spiritual trailblazer. 
Your faith could be tested possibly with this Cancer or Leo, either Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Your faith could be your faith could be tested. It could be hard for you to communicate with a Cancer or a Leo, or you know, um, you're gonna have to use your intuition about something that came out in the past. Let's see one more card. Eleventh house, Aquarian energy. This is about your social life, your friends, your goals. All right. This is also about things, things ending rapidly, possibly. Okay. Uh, this is also about new beginnings for some of you with this creativity. You could be a Leo. This could be about your divine counterpart. This could be about your goals. All right. Some of you may also be having children. I do feel that energy with this grand trine blessings, possibly a Leo. Oh, we have Mercury retrograde reinvention. So I feel like some of you have been going through your mind or your person trying to analyze and uh, rethink things. Some of these people may have been dealing with some sort of, I don't want to say psychosis, but, you know, like uh, trauma. Possibly some someone could be suffering but from uh, PTSD. Yeah, this person may have had some sort of spiritual awakening, this Mercury retrograde. This person may have also reached out or wants to reach out. Now, this could be after Mercury retrograde for some of you, okay? Yeah, this person most definitely had a transformation. This could have something to do with the Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. This is most definitely talking about an ending. This is ending. OK, and possibly a new beginning with the reinvention card with Mercury there. Yeah, something came out. OK, possibly about a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. I'm getting Gemini, Libra and Leo as well. OK, something came out, some sort of truth that about brought some sort of balance to a situation. OK, again, Saturn indicates a cycle. All right. Um, for some of you, this cycle definitely completed, but this was also a time consuming cycle. Some of you had a soul contract with someone. Others of you, this person probably um, wants to end this thing with this person and come towards you. This person is thinking of creative ways to uh, express themselves. I feel like in the past, this energy with the void of course moon and missing someone didn't have all the information they may have acted out too quickly there may also have been some um delays some uh some unfulfilled plans possibly some false starts for some of you okay so this is what took it a long time i'm getting shown the king of pentacles with the third house you could be possibly communicating with the gemini or gemini wants to reach out to you um however you it doesn't have to be this just this could indicate a soulmate partnership someone again trying to think of creative ways they don't have all the information maybe they don't know what you know however we've seen that 33 card come out all right with the faith and we see the Ouija board some of you had different faiths okay and that may have sent you off on a uh, not a split but a search to find yourselves if this is a divine counterpart or a twin all right so some of you had to go out on faith after an ending and someone wants to come back after not having all the information you may have communicated with this person something could have changed with this transformation most definitely good energy outcome 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 south no oh okay <clears throat> so for some of you <laughs> there's nothing happening right now okay you're being told to just balance yourself out reinvent yourself some of you need to go over contracts you may be having to fix some um your vehicles but i'm getting finances as well some of you may be having car troubles you may also be um, allowing some of your friends your social life your work environment to hold you back okay so with this mercury re retrograde and reinvention this is telling me that some of you have to clear up some of this past uh, energy and use your intuition about your social life your goals your circle 
okay for some of you the people you have children with these are soul contracts these are people that provoked you in some sort of way okay things never could be quite right this is the energy that you have to release on your person okay you could be dealing with the aries or have that in their chart that someone needs to draw off the uh, draw off, <laughs> drop the um, false self mass i'm getting you could have also been dealing with someone that was very passionate very attractive yet a little bit shallow this person may have not um this person could be a person that isn't that doesn't like to close chapters they leave chapters open with the venus uh this is uh empress energy so some of you this could be a child's mother for others you could be a divine feminine a libra or a taurus you could have Libra, Libra, <laughs> Libra and Taurus in Venus as well. Something ended, okay, with this lover, with this Libra, this Taurus, Aries, okay. Something ended. This was a soul contract. It was based on passion, whether or not if you were Aries or these signs in this reading stand out to you. Someone most definitely was in their mind possibly manipulating with the Gemini energy. This person was focusing on our stability. <sighs> yeah. I feel like he was dealing with someone that was going through a major life um, changing cycle with the south node debris. Some of you are still stuck in this energy. So, off the bat, retreat is sticking out. Let's see. Either show me what it is I need to see. Be true to yourself. Tune out distractions. I feel like someone definitely needs to drop their ego. Rejuvenation. Someone could have went in hermit mode after they find out about this partnership that could possibly be dying. This business for some of you. This person was indecisive and they, you know, didn't take accountability. And this is why this south node debris is here with this Mercury retrograde. And that is the outcome. Okay, some of you, you are having to clear this energy before you can bring on this more um, light-hearted energy. Live life to the fullest build on solid ground yeah some of you <clears throat> it was a wake-up call you were dealing with someone that was very selfish some of you may have withheld your wants your needs in the situation to appease someone else and it's time for you to shine your light and reevaluate your priorities why is sun here ether show me what it is i need to see Take the lead. Oh, wonderful. So someone definitely has to step into that Leo energy with the sun card and the spirit. Some of you had a rejuvenation, most definitely. But you're going to have to have the courage going forward and using your intuition. For some of you, this was most definitely something that came out at in the past. Okay. Regarding things that you tried to keep hidden. Possibly <clears throat> you... <clears throat> Excuse me. You attracted this person because you may have been in a very lustful and I'm hearing needy energy. Okay, so you could have been dealing with someone that was very egotistical. They um, may have had a lot of um, suitors would laugh at your demons here and embrace your power. I feel like someone misused their powers. be of service oh yeah yeah i feel like this person was getting around okay um and you know doing it very well with the embrace your power here yeah and someone definitely um decided to walk away whether if it was you or your person i sense that you felt this with the cancer energy here yeah, immense your vulnerabilities. You may have asked this person to come clean. Um, you may have sensed something was wrong. Something could have changed with this person during the full moon. I feel like they <clears throat> became more um, aware or responsive. Maybe they had some sort of psychic dream, okay? But do something different and accept what is dying. This person <clears throat> is dealing with someone, possibly a child's mother or childhood wounding, having to do with their mother. With reflect on your own truth here. Why is 11th house friends? I feel like someone knew. 
Well, they didn't know. Someone was dealing with, well, I, yeah, I can't say that. Somebody knew they had some shady friends and they still allowed their friends to intervene in your connection. Why is the 11th house here? I feel like these people are jealous. Your person could have found out something about their circle here. I do feel that would become a clear channel. This person got rid of a lot of people. As with sincerity, I feel like um, they may have given a lot to this connection or you, okay, um, to people that they could not receive from, okay? They probably have some very um, needy or superficial karmics, possibly people that they have children with. Uh, take the lead and go for your dreams. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like something was holding this person back with the take the lead and go for your dreams. Um, I feel like a needy energy, like this person wanted to keep you kind of begging. They are, you know, they, they possibly wanted you to chase them with take the lead. Why is Mercury retrograde, retrograde, <laughs> Mercury retrograde here? Change tracks. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is literally meaning, um, yeah. For some of you, this is not going to happen. You already know that you're aware. You're using your intuition because something came out. For some of you, this is someone that you considered a friend. This is like, I, I get the energy of some of these readings that have been building up for the last few months about frenemies, how we've been talking about that on the channel. I feel like that's going to resonate with the Cancer, where something came out possibly about a Leo, okay, maybe even an Aquarius, any any sign where you had to change change tracks. And this change of tracks or scenery for some of you, you may even move. I don't know why I'm getting Paris, maybe because of that tower. Or <clears throat> someone could be named Paris. You may have decided to love yourself first and do what you needed to do to, because I feel Empress energy. Empress and Emperor energy. Nurture yourself first. I feel like some of you have a soulmate. Okay, you may have met someone out, or you will meet someone out, possibly after this Mercury retrograde. It's going to make you change tracks. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> and when you do, for some of you, this person is going to come back. Okay. So, with the address your addictions here. I feel like this person um, may have a sex addiction, alcohol addiction for some of you, but that's not going to be for everybody. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, we have nurture yourself first. I didn't see that. Nurture yourself first. We have keep your commitments. You were dealing with someone that spread it their self really thin, thin and address your addictions and speak up. <clears throat> so something is hiding. Someone is hiding something. Addiction could be to a person, place, or thing. Some of you... Um, maybe addiction to money as well and express your joy I feel someone is holding back now that's for some of you okay this person could also be addicted to you <laughs> they could also uh, possibly want to offer marriage to some yeah count your blessings <clears throat> and think things through we also have retreat some of you you're going to say no <sighs> because you have rebuilt yourself and you are so fearful that this person is going to dim your light here okay i do feel that all right let's see why is let me see what's here let's go with love yourself why is love yourself reversed i just flipped the whole deck love yourself reversed Someone was holding back. Love yourself reverse. Love yourself. It's like he was dealing with someone that didn't know how to love. Maybe they felt sex was love. I, you know. I keep the waters pure. Yeah. This person. Okay. Possibly a cancer. You could have been dealing with maybe cancer sun, cancer moon. Okay. It could have something to do with your children's mother. Okay. I feel like, yeah, this person withheld emotions. And I keep my own counsel. They held they held back. Either they held back, back or you. Be of service. Yeah. 
you may have held back because this person had a very big ego i am peaceful okay so some of you you are most definitely light workers okay so uh, you you may have been dealing with someone that may have been jealous of you energetically i do feel that would love yourself first they may not have liked your shine, your charisma. I'm hearing magnetic. Except for design. Some of you are at peace with uh, this person not being in your life, too. I affirm that all life is sacred. <clears throat> I achieve with integrity. And I praise the goddess in God. Okay, so someone went through a spiritual transformation. You were questioning what this person was doing when they wasn't with you, possibly with their friends. For some of you, this is a divine counterpart. I affirm that all life is sacred. You may have tried to rebuild this connection or your person may want to rebuild this um, connection with you. But I don't see it happening for some of you, possibly with the cancer. I am trustful in my relationship. You didn't trust this person. Some of you, you didn't use your intuition. You may have felt this person doing, um, doing things, withholding, withholding int intimacy. Go for your dreams. Why is go for your dreams here? I counsel only. Oh, I consume my own. Oh, <laughs> I consume only my fair share. Go for your dreams. Someone was very... Okay, this person was greedy. Okay, selfish. This person may be someone that's very... Uh, this could be someone that's an entrepreneur. They're very driven, work-orientated. You have a spiritual connection with, connection with this person most definitely. It's, it's like good, good, bad. Like yin, yang. And then... Okay, so some of you, you know, you are d divine counterparts. You are twins. And it's like you bring out the good by pulling out the bad. Okay? If that makes sense. It's like a connection between you, your person, and the divine. I feel like this person uh, watches you or you watches you watch them and you inspire this person why is take take the lead this is going to resonate different for everyone take the lead here i honor animals with reverence this comes up a lot and let me explain this this could be a card where people obviously do things that we shouldn't do with animals however this is also talking about um, cherishing, cherishing an animal like you want to be cherished as, you know, like, I don't, not reciprocity, but it's more, you know, in uh, Egyptian times, animals were very sacred. They, they took a care of each other. Okay. You may want this person to respect you. I'm getting some of you, this person doesn't take the lead they kind of they're kind of passive like like a cat <laughs> possibly um they want to you to worship them i'm getting that sounds so kind of but yeah and i am accepting i feel like this person blocked off the connection with you uh, you know, you, you may have been dealing with someone that was very immature. They may have chose to be around friends, their social life. They may have chose their social life. This is someone that probably drinks a lot or smokes a lot, um, would become a clear channel. I feel like they were so, their energy is so chaotic and muffled. They were blocked off from source with the I am accepting. And I honor animals with reverence. For some of you, this person probably literally didn't take care of their animals. And I know that's kind of hard to say. But I do have, I do get the energy of someone losing a pet. Okay? And so I give offerings that are genuine. Someone held back. Okay? They, again, this person, are you, was dealing with people that were fake with the 11th house friends very karmic energy this karmic energy was there to teach this person or you 
what it is you truly want, what it is you truly respect, and, you know, what you give your time and your energy to with, I respect the property of others. Some of you, <clears throat> this person could have had friends that slept around with, you know, their wives or husbands, you know, this could have been an issue with this person, with their circle. Maybe they found out someone slept around with their counterpart. Why is change tracks here? I speak with good intent, okay? So this is telling me to put good energy out, put positive um, words of encouragement out, especially about yourself every day, okay? And if this person doesn't reciprocate that, then you leave because you are not energetically, you know, a match and they could lower your manifestation. And I consume with awareness, oh, consume. <laughs> yeah, some of you literally, yeah, this person may smoke a lot, or you, but this is saying I converse with awareness. Be aware of what you're saying during this Mercury retrograde, this person could also be trying to think of what to say or vice versa. Do what you love. Some of you, you know, you're going to um, have to move on with I speak with sincerity. You may have to close some chapters with this person you're being told or advised to, you know, be be kind and gentle even though this person may have hurt you when they come back yep you heard that <laughs> when they do come back um speak with sincerity to close this chapter because this person is planning on coming back but like i keep my own counsel this person is very scared they don't want to open themselves up i'm hearing because they may have cheated or left you for a third party i speak with sincerity some of you are musicians. Um, yeah, and you're being told to do what you love or possibly this person is. They could be on the radio as well. And I create harmony. Yeah, some, someone definitely is a musician. Someone wants, ooh, someone's coming out with something, an album I'm hearing, I'm hearing. I said hearing. <laughs> so someone is coming out possibly with some sort of art. Okay, after the retrograde or around this retrograde. And I benefit with gratitude. That's right. Be very grateful to things that you have so you can keep that good positive energy going of abundance and free flowing energy of peace. I act respectfully of others. And on that note, hope you enjoyed the reading, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later.